Hey, 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 welcome to Crystal's Daily Dose of Joy. Welcome family, friends, and followers. If you're new, then hello. Welcome. If you're returning, then welcome. So yes, yes, this is going to be a morning vlog, but I'm going to kind of take you through my morning, what my morning routine looks like. Some of you have seen it. A lot of you haven't. Things kind of change day to day, week to week, but a lot of the things also remain the same and stay the same. Um, I get up at 6.15 every morning to get my son prepared for school and to get ready for the bus. And yes, um, we lay down at about 10.30 every night, which sounds late, but typically we get about seven hours of sleep, so that's more than enough for us. And uh, we get to sleep in on Saturdays, and we're very thankful for that. So yes, I also read um, in my Bible um, I was reading Hebrews chapter 5, and then I do a thing called, um, let me find somewhere to set y'all. There you go, because I can actually show you. I do a thing called um, soap, which is something that our youth group leader or my son's youth group leader at church, Val, told us about. This is our daily bread journal, prayer journal. I'm using it for my Bible study thing right now. But um, you can Google the meaning. Soap is a like a Bible study. That's what I call it. It's a different way um, of understanding what you're reading from the good book. And um, scripture is, is scripture observation I can't get that one correctly application and prayer okay and that's where the soap part comes from scripture physically write out the Bible verses you'll be amazed what God will reveal to you and when you slow down to write or meditate on what you're reading observe what do you see in the verses you're reading who is the audience? Is there a repetition of words? What is the main lesson and theme? Application. When God's words become personal, what is God saying to me today? How can I apply what I just read to my life? Are there any changes that I need to make? And in prayer, God's words, pray God's words back to him. If he has revealed something to you during this time in his word, pray about it, confess it. If he has revealed some sin in your life, take time to thank him for his goodness in his life when you do the prayer. And this is a really, really good thing, y'all. I just did Hebrews chapter 5. So I do my Bible reading in the mornings and in the afternoons. I read from the Bible in a year, which is... gives you the reading and I pick one little area a day my reading in the afternoon will be Jeremiah chapter 43 to 45 so I'm about halfway through I have read the Bible front to back um, a few times over the years and um, I read um, the soap Bible study part either in the mornings or in the evenings and so like this morning I did the soap um, and then I did, um, the last night I did this, the, uh, just the Bible reading of the Bible verses. And then when I'm doing just the reading and I'm not do, using the soap version, um, I also go and ask Google, the Google search engine, what is the theme? Who is the audience? Um, what is this talking about? Um. You know, and also in my uh, study Bible, but this is not my study Bible. This is the New International Version Bible. Um, and both of my Bibles are New International Versions. Um, in the study Bible, it does give me the uh, theme. It gives me a little bit of the background about who I'm reading. It does give me um, a little bit of the history. Um, none of us can be 100% for sure, you know. Um, there's a lot of parts of the Bible that's meant to be understand. There's a lot of parts of the Bible you can't understand. But, um, yeah, I think it's really interesting. I like the way I do it. I definitely like to have my time in the mornings and in the afternoon. 
because we are supposed to meditate on the word day and night. So that's the very first thing I do in the mornings when I get up. I call my mom, spend time talking with her. I get my coffee. Um, I let the fur babies, I gotta let them, I haven't, they haven't yet. They go potty and then while Mason's preparing himself and getting himself ready, once I've had my coffee and I've done my few little phone calls, I spend time in the Word. And then typically about 8, 30, 9 o'clock at night is when I do my reading again in the good book. So yeah, we're going to put this away and we're going to focus on whatever else needs to be done. Um, this one makes it too thick, so I'm going to put it over here. I'll put this one over here in the book. In my Bible. And I'll put it back. And then typically for me, because we are kind of routine people for very many reasons, one being my son has special needs. So routine is very important and helps him. But for two, um, it just helps me. Like I'm one of those people I don't like to get up and not know what I'm doing with my day or what my plans are, or what my schedule are. I've tried that before. I get a lot of anxiety. Um, when I don't know or I don't do things, um, I like to have my day kind of planned out. That's where my planners come into play a lot because whether it's appointment, whether it's something I need to deep, deep clean or declutter or an area I maybe want to look at in my Bible or maybe some homework with Mason, whatever it be, um, it helps me mentally keep up with it. And I think that's important because, um, yeah, it just works for me and my family and uh, if I didn't have it, I probably wouldn't accomplish nothing. I've never been one of those people that want to sit in front of a TV or really listen to music all day long. I'd rather be up doing something. My father, Bobby Simmons, is the exact same way. He says he's not as much now that he's got a little bit older. But my dad still is a lot, y'all. Uh, he goes, goes, goes until the time he lays down and goes to sleep. Um, I call myself having a 90 nothing personality. And yes, I've been told over the years that will slow down as I get older and that be grateful for it. And I'm very grateful for it. If I get to that point in my life, then whether it's here in my rocking chair and rocking with crocheting or in the good word, the book, or, you know, piddling in my planners, <laughs> I will figure that out. But until then, I'm grateful. Um, I try to take times in my life now as I am getting a little bit older where I do give myself an hour or two a day to just enjoy me time and family time and stuff but I like being a busybody so yes there's nothing wrong with that um, if someone makes you feel a certain way or like you should and shouldn't this just pray about it pray for them because you need to do what works for you your family and your your mental state and your clarity. We're all in different walks and that's okay. You know, um, that's what I'm learning. So let's get up. I thought I'd spend the first part of the morning chit-chatting, sharing that part of my morning with y'all because I do have people asking me to bring those type of videos. Not recently, but I have people in the past ask me to bring those type of videos. And I know y'all get to see more of the cleaning type of videos and I try to change it up. So, yep. Yeah. This ain't going to be a super, super long video. So, I get up, and my fur babies, y'all need to go use the potty. I got to go outside. They like the word out versus potty. Y'all got to go potty? Yeah. Let's go. Come on. Let's turn this light off. Porch light can be off. The weather has cooled down so much here in our little area, and I'm so thankful for that. But see, they're out pottying. And I don't have to worry about them. They know I can literally snap my finger, and they'll come running up to me. They they know to stay in the yard. That was one we had to work on for a very, very long time um, before they understood. Like, if you're going out without the leash, then you got to be in the yard. You know, so. Yep. They typically don't go no further than this tree. And my grass is all dead. Yes, y'all. 
I would love to be able to really work on that. But being on tank water, you don't really, can't you be using water on the yard and stuff. Y'all ready? I have to water these plants. We got a little bit of rain. It's not really many plants. But um, we got a little bit of rain. It didn't even rain like 10 minutes or so. Come on. See, there's Pluto. There's one. You ready? Come on, Lux. Lucky's my older dog, so he moves a little bit slower. Come on, Lux. Let's go. Watch him. Lucky. Y'all may not see him. He's over there by the tree. You can see him a little bit. Come on, Lucky. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Come on. <laughs> He's gotten so attached to me. He used to be a daddy's dog, but daddy works crazy hours. And some days it's really, really late. Some days he gets done at a really reasonable hour. So he's gotten more attached to mama over the last couple months or so, I guess you could say. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Alrighty, so they're let out. And then I always have a to-do list. I didn't write it down last night. This is from yesterday, but that's normally what I have. I did the Bible study, watching Chosen Season 4, Episode 2. Um, so we're going to go do laundry this afternoon, and we take our trash and stuff off ourselves. And so, yeah, we're going to do those two things. And then, yeah, my kitchen's clean because I do do an evening tidy up. Um... I did rearrange in here, and I showed that in the video yesterday. So I need to get the beds made up. Um, I would walk with the dogs, but I'm going to wait probably about, nine. instead of going at 8.30ish, I go around 8 o'clock, 8.30ish, I'm going to wait till about 9. My mom says she may be coming um, down, and yeah, we'll go from there. So I just pretty much tidy up, tidy up the beds and stuff. Now, Mason does do his own bed, like I say, the last... I want to say week, maybe week and a half, I've been doing the bedroom and the bed, but we have had a really, really, really super busy schedule. Um, he had two different uh, worksheets and homework assignments, so he works on those in the evening time, and uh, they do it from their Chromebook most of the time. Most of their classwork is on their Chromebook, and then, you know, because of my husband not having a set work schedule and things are kind of all over the place, we do things as we can fit them into the schedule. So I've always, always, always wanted Mason to be able to focus in on like when it's time to go to youth group, just time for that. When it's schoolwork, just time for that. When it is, you know, family time, just time for that. And Mason's getting a little older. He is spoiled to a device and phone that has been taken a lot more from him and him doing things like outdoor time family time with us or whether it's something he needs to catch up on like schoolwork or different things like that and I want to encourage um not only not only people that have children but just whether you live with someone or you're helping someone or it's a good friend remember you know as long as you instill into them the responsibility part, whether it's cleaning, whether it's work, whether it's school, whether it's prayer time, whatever area it is you see they need to work on, and they do it gradually, they're going to get it. If it's one of those things where someone is criticizing or people you're not doing it the way that someone else thinks you should be doing it it is going to come a natural more harder thing for you to grab onto and, and do um and that's one thing i'm learning about myself because uh, over the last i say at least maybe five plus years i was tough on myself because of choices i made not someone else but because of choices i made in different decisions so i would let anything that would happen in life or anything that anybody would say I would take it more on a personal level. And now, I'm not like that as much. If I don't do something right, if I don't get it right, and someone tries to help me, 
I do try to consider it and I do pray over it. But if I'm, if I see that, okay, well, I've tried that, it doesn't work, or yes, that's nice, I kind of go back into my way and I just pray about it. If there's another way God wants me to do it. And I would highly recommend that for anybody else because it just, you know, what works for one doesn't always work for the next. You know, and, and that is how I see in the society we live in today, how we can stop a lot of the judging and shaming comparison. So, yeah, we're going to go down, I think, and make up the bed. And let me go and put my coffee cup in the sink because this coffee ain't got cold. I'm not really even drinking it anymore. Um, my husband was up late working on his bike. He got a new battery for it. So he stayed up late and he sleeps upstairs if he's up late so he comes, well, he comes down and the dogs go crazy bark and bark and barking and it wakes me up so he just sleeps up here when it's late and me and him have different schedules when it comes to that so yeah let's go down and make the bed the bed's not really that messy i'm gonna sit y'all right there move my animal This is my morning routine I'm sharing with y'all. And then I'm going to um, go ahead, once I get this bed made, I'm going to go ahead and change, uh, put on clean clothes. I'm in bed pants. Everybody loved yellow. I don't know why. Thank you for the comments. Um, I really don't spend a lot of time thinking about what I'm going to wear. I grab my shirt, and then I figure out what pants matches my shirt, and I get myself dressed. If I spend a lot of time thinking about what I'm going to wear, um, I wouldn't get ready. I've done that a lot over the years, and it just, I don't like to do that. I feel like I have more important things, and I am very girly, you know, but at the same time, I don't, I'm not all about, like, worrying about how I look, if that makes sense. Probably more about my physical health than I would say looks, if that makes sense. That's just me. Um. Let me quit yip yapping. I know y'all, some of y'all say I love the chit chatting a lot. Some of y'all are like, no, I don't like it as much. Um, I won't be one of those I've tried. I just, I finally decided I'm not going to ever be someone to add music in my videos. It just makes my videos look wonky. There's a lot of YouTubers that do really good. Living with Lynn does beautiful videos and her music and stuff she adds in and then able to chit chat along the way too. But that just don't work for my channel. You know, so that is okay. The front pillow is the one I try to tuck in and make it look a little bit neater. The back one's not as much. <sighs> My back's bothering me a little bit. And I don't typically eat till like it's almost 8.30. I don't typically eat until probably about 9.30, 10.00. I get real bad stomach problems, and so I try not to even have nothing for the morning snack or in the mornings until about 9, 30, 10 o'clock. Sometimes not even then, just my coffee is fine. But it just depends. Mm. I took some of the stuffed animals off my bed. I, We're starting to feel too cluttered, not many. Little dolls over here. And one's over here in a thing. So yeah, let's figure out what outfit we want to wear. Let me show you how I do this. So y'all understand, this is really how I do it too. I don't think about it. I'm in a t-shirt today. The weather's going to be cooler. I got a cardigan, so it'll probably be another t-shirt day, not tank top. Even though I do have a cardigan. These are still clean. 
So I'm probably going to put those back on and then switch this. So let me show you how this works for me. So right here we grab. Sometimes I don't even look. I will look. Sometimes I don't think about it. Just grab. There's a shirt right there. And then if my pants look dirty, I will look at them. These were what I wore yesterday. They're kind of like dress pants. I think my mom gave me these. But these are gonna what I'm going to wear. Beautiful little fur t-shirt. I'm going to wash my face. And I already took my makeup off last night and changed my clothes. I changed my undergarments as well and then get dressed. And then I'll put on a little bit of jewelry and then I might put on a little bit of mascara. So I do my showers every other day. And in between the days I do the showers every other day, I still do what I call a sponge bath. So I still do the facial wash. I still, you know clean myself up. I don't wash my hair every day. I have natural oily hair, but it's not good to wash your hair every day. That's all, what I've always heard. Um, and then sometimes I'll leave it one way or I'll pull it up a different way depending on how it looks. And I'll throw on very, very little bits of makeup. So let's get that done. They just match. <laughs> Took my watch off so I could So I'm just going to put, most of my jewelry is paparazzi jewelry. It's $5 lead and nickel free jewelry. Some of you have bought it for me before. Some of you have probably seen it. Some of you may not be familiar. And a lot of my jewelry is like real. This one is. This is the ring my daddy gave me. That was my grandma's ring. My daddy's mother's ring, May. This one is from my husband. It was a Christmas and a birthday gift. Or not, not, not both. It wasn't Christmas and birthday. But my birthday falls a day after Christmas. Um, like three or four years ago when it's got a necklace and earrings that go with it. Um, I've got a uh, bracelet I wear a lot of times. He bought me um, for this last Christmas. Different things like that. I'm not one of those. I'm going to spend a lot, a lot of money on jewelry. I do have two rings. Um, I just haven't got them out yet that are being sized. Um, one came from my mom and then one Chris, Chris guide me and I think it was like three, four hundred dollars. Right at probably about four. It was like three ninety eight plus tax, um, and he got that at Walmart. I can't remember the exact price of it, but pieces I'm gonna put on real quick. And I'm not doing nothing with my hair. I'm gonna leave it the same way. I've already did my uh, facial wash. I didn't show that because I do my little uh, like my sponge bath, changing all that. So I went ahead and just done it when I, during that time when I did all that. Let's get myself jury on. Get myself ready and kind of dress for today. Do these. I think these are so cute anyways. And then we're going to do a little bit of mascara. A little bit of eyebrow pencil. My eyebrows are fading, y'all, as I get older. Um, I don't know. They're just going away on their own. And I don't put dye on them. I've tried that before and I'm just like, no, I'm not doing that. Making myself look all crazy, I guess. And so... That, and I might put on a bracelet on this arm. I haven't decided yet. So, let's go get over here to the makeup section. Ooh. My mom gave me this mirror. I love it. The LED lights can be kind of bright, though. But it helps me see what I'm doing when I get ready. Hey, I need to 
tighten that up a little bit. My hair gets wonky sometimes. My hair's thin. Everybody says, oh, it don't look thin. Looking and feeling thin is completely different. I put a lot of gel, a lot of hairspray in it to give it a little bit of body, blow dry it, um, occasionally flat iron it and put a curling iron in it. But yes, it's a lot different. So just using LA Colors brow pencil, like literally to go ahead and just color in my eyes. My mom, and she'll probably try to tell me, I couldn't get it off. I'm borrowing her pressure washer because we are going to be pressure washing the trailer here soon. It won't be in this video or today, but that is something to come in the videos coming up. I just kind of go over. I don't like my eyebrows to look crazy. I like them to look natural. I am not one of those. <laughs> I'm going to go get them done professionally or anything. My sister used to go get hers plucked. No, I'm good. Using that as a mascara. Most of my makeups come from the Ipsy bags or my husband's bought me different makeups along the way or my mom. Uh, so... Definitely not doing eyeliner and all that today. Just a little mascara, a little eyebrow pencil. I do not wear lipsticks. I prefer chapsticks or lip glosses. Um, I've got a couple lipstick colors I'll wear every, every once in a blue moon. Not much at all. So we're just going to put on, if I quit throwing it at y'all, um, a basic clear lip gloss. Oh no, I feel like lipsticks are not my thing. It just, you can look at your tongue and be like, ooh, that looks good, that don't look good. I'm just not into lipsticks, I guess you can say. So, I like body mists. I, I do wear perfumes every once in a blue moon. If I go in a store, if I'm looking for a new scent, I normally get this brand. Or I will go into, um, like, Belch, JCPenney's, and I'll pick up this, and you get, like, the lotions with it. So. Get a little spray. A little spray, a little spray, a little spray. And that's it, y'all. That's, that's me pretty much dressed and ready and ready to roll through another morning. And, yeah, and then we got to get ready to try to get the dogs gathered up. They're upstairs, and we'll go on our morning walk. And then when I get back from my morning walk, I will sit down and have something to eat. It's normally something small. Um, grits or eggs are probably my favorites. I do eggs. I love, 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 oh, my goodness, way too much fried eggs. I love the runny, the yellow part in the middle of an egg. And I like to do a little bit of avocado with that. And that's pretty much my morning. Once I'm done with all those things, I dive right into cleaning. Or if I ain't got no cleaning that I got to worry about doing, I'll spend a little bit more time in the Word or watching a video that I enjoy or something like that. And so I do hope you enjoy these type of videos. You get a little bit better idea of what my morning looks like. This is not exactly how my morning goes every day. But I did kind of break it down to you for the parts you didn't get to see. Um... But y'all be blessed, be thankful, be grateful. I'll see y'all later. Bye.